Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Notepad is one of those legacy apps in Windows that has been around basically since the beginning and has for decades remained virtually unchanged, as you may well know. And then back in 2021 with the release of Windows 11, Microsoft started upgrading Notepad to become more than just a text editor like it was originally known for. Because one of the beauties of Notepad back in the day was its simplicity. And with Windows 11, what started as a simple note-taking app back in the day has now turned into its own kind of beast, which includes AR and a whole lot of other features that Microsoft has bundled into the actual app since the launch of Windows 11. Now the good news is, if you want to bring back Notepad's so-called legacy simplicity, the good news is that we have settings to turn off for basically all of the features that Microsoft has included with Notepad, especially the AR, which I don't think is a big hit for a lot of users. So if you want to slim down, declutter, de-bloat, and bring back the app simplicity, then just a quick video to show you how. So what we need to do is we need to head to the settings, so that's found up here in the right hand corner. And if we go right down to the bottom, we can turn off Copilot, that, that's the AR features. And then we can take it one step further. And if we just start from the bottom going up, you can turn off spell check. You can turn off autocorrect or other or. You can even turn off a feature, recent files, which rolled out a while back. And you can also turn off word wrap, which fits text within window by default. And if you want to change the app theme, you can even bring it back to the light color that it originally was back in the day, right up until um, it started getting a th app theme in Windows 11. So I'm going to turn that back to dark because that's searing my eyes. And now if you go back into the actual app, you will see now that a whole lot of those features have been decluttered and we've brought a lot of the so-called simplicity back and the legacy aspect and feel of the app back into Notepad. So basically once you've completed the steps you'll end up with a version of Notepad which I think is more familiar to most Windows users. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.